All right, sorry about that. Um, this is going to be video number two now. Um, because whenever my um, phone fell over, I accidentally turned off the um, app for the video. And so it stopped recording. So um, I don't know if I really had too much else to say really though. But I, I still wanted to give a... Um, goodbye and you know Jerry's final thoughts and um um I think oh no 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 I'm not done I am not done stop trying to make me end the video I am not done god you guys you guys you guys I was gonna tell you about some of my numbers I would do if I was in drag um one is buttons by the Pussycat Dolls. Um, so I come out and I'm in a straight jacket. And instead of them being buckled, there's buttons that, that look like it's keeping it buttons, but it's just Velcro. And so I'm like, I'm dancing, like, I need you to help me come over and take this off, you know, like uh, the lyrics. Um, and so I thought that would be really funny. Like, you know, like the whole thing is you're wanting to get out of the straight jacket. And then eventually there's a part where they say, I'm about to blow, I don't think you know. Um, and I would do a reveal. I would like sling my arms down, rip it off, and down would come a dress. But it's not any dress. It has to be a dress that's made from the same fabric that they make um, hospital gowns out of. And like it, it would have to be made for me, so it would look kind of like a dress. But it'll be obviously like have a tie in the back and buttons up the back and stuff like that. So, um, it looks like a, um, um, a, um, hospital gown. And then when the final time, oh, and I'm wearing fishnets, by the way. And the final time that the music goes, I'm about to blow, um, um, I pulled that off and I'm just wearing a corset with big old boobies. Um, and, um, you know, and then it's just like sexy, you know, so I'm still doing the song, some like service, you know, like, Ooh, you're getting served, honey. Like you're serving all of it. You're serving all of it, honey. You know, like that. Um, so that's one, um, another is uh, Gwen Stefani's Hollaback Girl. Um, she always says, ooh, that's my shit, that's my shit. Whenever she says that, I'll have a bag around my neck that has, um, you know how you make those brownies that you can make look like poop? I would have those. And I would hand them out to the crowd and I'd be like, ooh, that's my shit, that's my shit. You know, and so I, I'd hand it to them and that's what would happen. And then whenever, they say, whenever she says, the shit is bananas, I pull out one that's wrapped like the brownies, but it's a banana. And I dance with it and then give it to somebody. So um, I thought those were kind of some funny ideas. Like that's the stuff I would want to do. I don't, I, I, I'm not bashing any drag queen that just does popular music because they're clearly really good entertainers, uh, generally. Um, and I know some that do some kind of funny stuff, but like my whole aesthetic would just be like weird and crazy. Um, like, um, there's a song by the Teen Teens called, um, Shut Up and Let Me Go. And I think that one would be funny to be like tied up in bondage. So have a friend who's like, a, I, have, I have a lot of friends in the leather community. I used to be an avid member of the leather community, but I've kind of tapered off given things that have happened in my life. And, um, um, sorry. Um, my friend sent me a message and I need to let her back.
Oh, there we go. Um, anyways, um, so it's just stuff like that. Oh, yeah, Teen Teens. Um, shut up and let me go. Tied up in bondage. And I have a mask over my eyes that I can still see through, but you can't tell that I can see through it. And then I'm being pulled by a collar and leash by a leather daddy. Um, and, you know, shut up and let me go. You know, trying to, like, get away from him, but he's really hot. And so it's, like, the whole time I'm just, like, dancing around him and, and stuff like that. I think that one would be really funny as well. So any of these ideas, if I do have any drag queen friends on here or, um, 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 or if you know any, I, d I don't care if you steal these ideas. I know they're batshit crazy. So, um, you know, it's, it is what it is. And I don't expect anybody to ever get it or understand it, how my mind works. But like, whenever I hear a song more than 10 times, like, this is what comes up in my brain is, if I did drag, I would do this. And I generally, like, it, it, like they might morph over time. I'm like, oh, I could do this instead. Like, the buttons one um, was just going to be a reveal into a regular dress and then the corset. Um, but I think doing a hospital gown dress would be funnier. Like, I want to make people laugh. I don't... I, I don't know if I if I call it being a comedy queen, um, but I just want people to see it and go, huh? Like that's like that's um, that's my the response that I want is people um, being confused and um, you know generally going like what the f? But as long as they still tip, as long as they would still tip me, then it doesn't matter. Um, but I think there's not a, I don't know if there's a market for that here in Oklahoma City. There's a lot of pageant queens, a lot of pageant queens. And um, I think I would find it probably hard to find a drag mother who would be willing to take me under her wing to show me the ropes, knowing that I'm going to be weird like that. Because, um, you know, you're associated with, your drag family and I I know drag families from St. Louis who are from Sharon Needles to Alyssa Edwards and every everything in between. Um, so I know it's not out of the question. I just don't know how conservative the drag community here in Oklahoma City is. Um, London Fog. Here on Z1077 with Drusifer's Idiocracy. It's not as fun when I don't have when I can't say Derek as well. Who wants to do a radio show by themselves? Ugh. It'd be so boring, just you know, like that's that's something for NPR. Unless it's oh, what's that comedy show that they do that has like three people on it? Can't remember. Don't don't tell me now. No. Wait, wait. No, I think it's wait, wait, something. Ooh, that one went really good in the camera. Um, but yeah, I think drag would be a fun outlet. I just don't know if, it, if I'm actually meant for it. But I like hearing a song and thinking what I would do just because it entertains me. Um... I'm someone who loves to make people laugh. Um, and so, oh, this is getting hot. All right. Uh, it's time to be less sexy. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. My arms can breathe. Um, oh, my God. I mean, it's like, what, 80, 70 some degrees out. So, it's, at least here it is. Um. So I don't have a um, need for a fur coat, faux fur or not. Um, I don't know if there's a difference between faux fur and regular fur in the amount of heat that it 
gives you, but that was really hot. Really hot. But thank God I'm wearing a tank top. Sorry, you just have to see my armpits. You know, that's that's the last, or that's the first thing you want to see on your, um, ooh, my muscles are looking good in this video. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Um, but I'm, I'm noticing the, the deltoid right here, how it curves, and then there's a dimple. I have a dimple on my arm. Oh. I need to get back to the gym because um, I haven't worked out in about a week because my sponsor, who I work out with, has been sick. And um, he is finally better, but he might have a busy day tomorrow and we still can't work out. So I um, just need to get my booty in there, though. I should do it without him, but... He's more knowledgeable on how to work out properly. Like, I know the exercises. I know them. But I don't know how to do them properly to get the maximum amount of work in to really work the muscles. So he's been working out for like 10 years at this gym. So he, he knows everything. So um, the only thing that's going to suck is if I get a job and can't work out with him anymore. Um, unless I can convince him to work out after I, I get off work or something. So we'll just have to see what happens. Um, I am all over the place tonight. Oh my God. I started talking about my birthday then I got into drag. Um, I, I don't mean wearing this in drag. I mean, like I got into talking about drag now talking about the gym, like, holy crap. Well, it is, 11, 12 at night, and um, my ADHD medication only lasts so long, so it only makes sense that um, that uh, it um, isn't going like I planned. You know, sometimes when you don't have a script or something that you know you want to talk about, um, it's kind of easy to get off off subject of what you finally decided to talk about, um, but anyway, um, you know, filling in on my day isn't something I just want to always do, because some days my life just isn't that interesting. Believe it or not, I know you're like, what? Some days nothing happens? I'm like, yes, girl. Yes, girl, nothing happened. Um, and, you know, you just have to wing it and be like, okay, I'm going to talk about a bunch of random crap that probably nobody really cares about or wants to know about. And um, it's very... Probably frustrating for you. And for me, I still have fun. And that's... I guess I can put that down now. She didn't respond. Um... I I have fun no matter what. I love making these videos. I'm so glad that you all love, love me making these videos. London Fog. Um, now I have to end the video by saying bye a certain way. And I forgot, Sabrina, to look up the video that... Um, that you, that you heard it on, but I'm still going to say bye really funny. So hopefully your son likes it. Um, I have a friend on here who, uh, lives in England and, uh, she'll watch my videos before her son goes to bed. Um, cause he likes watching my videos. Um, and, um, she will, um, just play them and then he, he laughs and, at my ridiculousness and stuff, which is awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and I should bring Luna in here. I bet I haven't had Luna in a video in a while. Let me go grab Luna.
she was asleep, so she might seem a little out of it. Can I have a kiss? No? No kiss? Can I have a kiss? Oh my god. She's so mean sometimes. You are so mean. I would try to move the video down so you could see her a little bit better, but I'm fearful of accidentally stopping the video again. So, I guess she can sit on my lap. Kiss? <gasps> Kiss? Dang! Stone cold hard biatch. I've never watched my videos back. Do they bleep out the cussing on the... Um, not on the video, but on the, um, 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 closed captions. Um, cause I wonder if they would type out biatch. I'm going to say it one more time. Biatch. Kiss. Kiss. Damn. She's probably mad I woke her up. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that, um, everybody, but especially Sabrina and your son. Um, it's time for me to end this video. Um, so I want to thank everybody for watching. If you've watched all the way this far, um, please like, subscribe, and share if you can. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!